One of the things you can do to get your brain back online with using all of its capacities is something called Brain Gym. So please join me today as I'm joined by international neurophysiologist, Dr. Carla Hannaford, and together from the comfort of your own home, we are gonna do some exercises that get your whole brain online so that both sides are working back together again. Don't miss this episode. Carla is an award-winning author, a biologist, neurophysiologist, and educator. And today we have her with us to teach us about how to use some of these techniques to optimize our brain function, which as people living with brain injuries, we really could use. When the waves came and when the storm raged, found myself falling into the ground. When the wind blew, that's when it fell through, and I don't know how to turn it around. I know there's more to me than the record you see. There's more to be. I'm still on the journey. So, cross one ankle over the other. Good. And now put your hands out, back of hands together, thumbs down. So there you go. And then lift one hand over the other, whichever feels right. And interlace the, the hands, the fingers. And again, this is activating huge areas of the brain that have to do with the hand. Mm -hmm. And now fold it under. And get your shoulders away from your earlobes. And rest your tongue on the roof of your mouth. And skin away. And then just breathe. And get present. This is one of the very best moves, uh, moves that we know to help with stopping stress. Stopping the release in the body of adrenaline and cortisol. Two very potent chemicals that allow us to survive in a survival situation, but we don't want them in our regular life because they, they shut down the brain, as I said before, and they really do a hardship on the rest of the body. It's, they're meant for survival. So what you want to do is get out of stress, and we know, we've known this for years, that about 96% of disease is stress-related. And uh, that in order for us to heal, we have to get out of stress. Yeah. 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 And out of that fight or flight. Out of the fight or flight. Into relaxation response. Mm -hmm. I think anybody with a brain injury recognizes how the stress affects our brains. Mm -hmm. We have an instant feedback loop. Yes. And can instantly see, oh my gosh, this stressful thought is making me not be able to function right now. So mm -hmm. really needs to make relaxation a priority. Right. And this, I instantly feel calm with. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's a great one. And, and as you're doing this, focus on your breathing and focus on being present. They did a wonderful study, Dean Ornstein, with regard to um, stress. They asked People, they had taken uh, cardiac patients and split them in half. So there were 400 in one group and 400 in another, getting the same medical care at the same hospital. And they took four, the 400 on the one side and said, okay, every time you start to worry, start to think about a negative thing or something that was stressful for you, your job was to sit down and look around you, get really present, and notice all the things that you're grateful for. Mm -hmm. You know, and just really get present. At the end of the year, the other group still had, I think it was 43%, which was the national average, had reoccurring heart attacks, and none of the group that would stop the stress by sitting and getting present and noticing what's around. Mm -hmm. And this helps even more because you are not only getting aware of what you really appreciate in your life and being very present, but you're also forcing the brain into an integrated state. So practicing gratitude while you're doing this mm -hmm. would be even better. Yeah. This could be our cue to do this and mm -hmm. focus on what we're grateful for. You bet. So cross one ankle over the other, okay, and then 
Yeah. So you started. I start with the thumbs, thumbs down, down and lift one hand over the other, and then roll them under. Get my shoulders down. Tongue on the roof of the mouth. And just breathe. Now this can also be done lying down at night. You know, if you, you notice that you start to feel anxious about something, worried about anything, mm -hmm. uh, I'll do this. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, you're just in bed. That's it and might be very helpful because so many people with brain injuries have a hard time sleeping at night. Mm -hmm. And this could help relax yes. the nervous system so you can sleep. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to think about something we're grateful for. Mm -hmm. I'm but grateful you're showing us these exercises. Oh, good. I'm grateful to be here in this beautiful house. And Thank you. you. <laughs> but also, you know, it's nice to open your eyes and just look around, too, so that you really get present. Mm. You know, in this beautiful place. When you've done this for a little time, just take and put your hands together and then hook. These wonderful hands. There's so huge, big area here for that. The more you use your hands, the more you're activating both hemispheres. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> you put the hands down, thumbs down, lift one up over the other, roll them under. there's more to be. I'm still on the journey. Now, if you have any comments or if you've used Brain Gym for your brain injury healing or any questions, please put them in the comment area below. We'd love to hear from you and how you're using this to help you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>